What's going on, YouTube? How many of you are familiar with the adage, symbols conceal from the uninitiated and reveal to the initiated? Symbols are very important, and they're used everywhere. For example, how many of you remember 2017's Economist cover page? No big deal at first glance, right? That is, of course, unless you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Notice the depiction of Trump Tower burning at the top. Well, get this. Three people were injured in a small electrical fire at Trump Tower where smoke billowed from the rooftop early Monday, January 8, 2018 as emergency crews worked to extinguish the flames. This isn't coincidence, synchronicity, or serendipity. Try to understand the symbolism being conveyed. When the tower card appears in a terror reading, it can signify a coming shift or change, upheaval, disaster, or revelation. I mean, this comes on the heels of the Clinton House fire in New York, where I'm sure nothing incriminating was destroyed. After all, the Clintons have no history of trying to cover their ties to crime. I suppose these could just be random accidents coinciding with each other, but if you think 2017's Economist cover was symbolic, check out 2018's. Now, take some time to really examine this and look at what's being shown. I'm not going to put a strict interpretation on any of this, but there really has been an unveiling of the occult. Now, the occult means hidden, and if you've noticed, a lot of what's been hidden is coming to light. This is how they do it, right? Truth in plain sight. You're looking at a snapshot from a 2017 Super Bowl commercial. It parodies secret ceremonial gatherings and makes a satire of very real-life scenarios. Taco Bell did the same thing with their Balluminati commercial. I left links in the description for you to check out, and of course there are other examples, but this is done for a reason. Amos 3.7 says, Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plans to his servants the prophets. Well, I believe those who have aligned themselves with the adversary follow similar principles. It's as if they're sworn to warn. However, they don't make it obvious enough to arouse suspicion. It's done far more cryptically. Music, television, cinema, these are ideal vehicles to disguise truth as fictitious entertainment. After all, if they tell you what's going to happen, why should your blood be on their hands? This can almost be likened to a slave who's unable to read being handed a letter informing him of his freedom. If you can't discern the message, you remain part of the system. Just look at some of the available examples of predictive programming or soft disclosure. Haven't you ever wondered why some movies seem to reflect certain realities, even science fiction? It's funny how 50, 60 years ago, sci-fi was mere fantasy. Now, that's where all the scientific momentum is. Quantum computing, artificial intelligence, advanced particle accelerators, the future is here. It's just not evenly distributed. Now, I know many people question if secret societies were running things, why wouldn't they remain secret? The existence of these secret societies is not necessarily the secret. It's their motives, influence, and the individuals they're able to control. Remember, the best place to hide something is in plain sight. I don't pretend to have foreknowledge or insight on the future, but if any of the depictions in this video are a projection of what's been planned, then I'd rather be prepared and not need to be than unprepared when I need it. Just know, this isn't a black and white subject. It's not something easily reconciled in one conversation or presentation. If you're interested in more content like this, I invite you to share and subscribe. Thanks for checking me out.